Logan is one of the most sought after leading men of the Kapusu Network and one of the most versatile actors of his generation. He's also a host and a content creator. His first role on TV was Lumad in the Philippine in the first Philippine historical epic drama series, Amaya. And his most recent appearance on TV was when he played Nikolai in the top-rating Jimmy Telebabad series, Love of My Life, which also topped Netflix in the Philippines when the show was made available on the platform. And after more than a decade, he stays loyal as a capuso as he renews his contract with Jimmy and Jimmy Artist Center. Please all welcome Mikael Daes. Hello, hello. Hey guys. Um, hello to everybody here on this Zoom. Uh, and I guess, yeah, my wife is here. You can say hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> she served me my snack. So we've been do uh, doing this all day, but I'm happy to be with all of you guys. I got some brownies and some milk. So sana may pamerienda rin kayo so that my energy tayo for today. Thank you, Mikael. At para po sa lahat ng mga kasama natin ngayon, please don't forget to use our hashtag. It's hashtag proud to be Kapuso, Mikael Daes. And now, allow me to introduce our blog friends who are also here in the virtual room. First, we have Mr. Albert Abelido of Chicanes. Mabuhay! Hello, hello! Mr. Edsel Roy of Starmometer. Ms. Kate Adahar of Random Republica. Hi. Mr. MJ De Leon of Gleets. Hello, happy merienda. <laughs> Mr. Zeng Bauta of Sue Business. Hi, Mikael. Mr. Naz Tabarez of Pelicula Mania. Hi. We also have Mr. John Bueno of Kumagkao. Hi, Mikael. Mr. Chad Solis of the Manila Food. Hi, Mikael. Hey, guys. Mr. Zunel Estelliore of Cinema Bravo. Hi, Nikolai. <laughs> okay, Nikolai pa rin. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Rocky Batara of TV series Craze and Runner Rocky. Hello, Mikael. Hello, hello. Mr. Justin Montas of Starring of the Day. Mr. Michael Almasen of Beaks Buzz. Hello, cutie. <laughs> hello, cutie as well. Mr. Alan Sincon of Stars Photog. Hi, Mikael. Regards to Megan. She says hi as well. Mr. R.M. Marcella of Barbie Lucius. Hi, Megan. Hi, Mikael. <laughs> and to complete our list of bloggers this afternoon, we also have Mr. James Miguel of Sobis Gana. Hi, po. And nga po mga puso, muli magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. And now, let's proceed to our Q&A portion. The first question will be coming from Ms. Kate at the heart of Random Republica. Hi, good afternoon. Congratulations, Mikael. Um, how does it feel that GMA is renewing ties with you? Uh, hi, Kate. Uh, thank you very much. Um, it definitely makes me feel proud. Um, I, I, I've, been telling, um, I've been telling people, I've been talking about it with my wife, Na, siempre, 11 years in, every time there's a contract renewal, you're not sure what's going to happen. Because, siempre, you need to be able to live up to your current contract and for people to see potential in you for another one. So, para sa akin, uh, it makes me very happy and proud na the GMA is entrusting me with another contract. And, sa totoo lang, it makes me feel very fulfilled because I put in a lot, all, all my work, all my life's work and effort has been with GMA for this past 11 years. So, to know that I will still be with them makes me very happy. Congratulations sa success no, ano, love of my life. Nabanggit nga kanina, tumatak yung role mo as Nicolai, ano. And, yung question ko, nabanggit mo yung wife mo kanina, how has being married changed your, ano, uh, career plans and goals? May nabago ba? May nadagdag? I must say, it did not change it at all. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, a lot of you guys know I've been with Megan for uh, 11 years already. Uh, a bit longer than my showbiz career. And we've always been very in tune, even before we got married. Para sa amin, marriage was more of a formality because everything 
you know, uh, living together, talking about finances, you know, talking about the various issues that couples, married couples would already deal with. We were dealing with already and more because we would work together. We would do teleseries together, which would require us to be together 24-7. So, para sa akin, in terms of changes, because of the marriage, because of the wedding, wala naman masyado. I think there were more changes because of the pandemic, to be honest. Congratulations again. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Ms. Kate. Next question naman will be coming from Mr. James Miguel. Hello po, sorry. Hi. Um, yung, yung question ko, um, since super active mo sa vlogging and sa podcast, um, mas malalese na ba ito dahil kakaroon nyo mo lang na network contract? So, mabibisi ka sa mga projects and all. Sorry, what is that, James? I didn't see, I didn't get that. Hi. Um, since super active mo sa um, vlogging and sa podcast, uh, mas malalese na ba um, yung mga pag-vlog mo and bot- podcast since kakarin yung malang ng contract mo with Jimmy. Um, no, I don't think so. I think that I've been doing, I, I've been vlogging since 2013, sa totoo lang. So it's been a really, really long time. And I don't think that there will be issues of balance and time. Sa totoo lang, I think that there will be more of a convergence. Kasi kahit yung GMA, mas nagiging open na sa digital platform. So there will be more opportunities to kind of collaborate in the digital space. So para sa akin, very exciting and especially now na mas na fast track because of how things are nowadays. Uh, follow up lang kasi sobrang napalad ko yung mga vlogs na and podcast. Um, inspiring yung mga topics and very, motivate, ma- med- very motivating. Asan kayo umuhugot na inspiration and motivation on doing uh, or parang continuously sharing your thoughts and opinions? First of all, James, thank you so much for watching and supporting the vlogs and the podcast. We super duper appreciate it because baby talaga namin yun. Uh, in terms of finding motivation for some of the topics, sa totoo lang, these are just everyday topics that we go through as a couple. I mean, you, th- you, think, about, you think about money, health, daily living, workouts, even emotions such as arguments, jealousy. All of that we live through just like everyone else. And it just so happens we have a platform where we share the stories. So I think yun lang yun dun. we're just sharing stories that we go through. And every day we have stories that we make. So every day there are more stories to share for the vlog and the podcast. And Lang, thank you so much and congrats sa pag na question. Thanks, James. Thanks, Kuya James. Next question naman will be coming from Mr. MJ De Leon. Okay, MJ. Hello. Yes, yes. Here, I'm here. Sorry, there sorry. There we go. Hi, MJ. Ang hira pa rin ng work from home. But yes, hi, Miguel. Congratulations. Um, Probably, sige, my first question would be, you've had like, you know, food trips, you're really known for your food shows and even your vlog. So, if you would choose a certain food item, fan question lang, or dish, to describe where you are at in your life and career right now, what would it be? And yeah, why? I <laughs> miss you yung tanong, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's challenge ourselves a little bit. My answer to that would be the food that I have in front of me. So right now, I have a pumpkin brownie. <laughs> Pumpkin Sweet. brownie. Yeah, so my pla- uh, medyo nag-plant-based diet na kami ng aking asawa for the past how many months already. And napakalaki yung bagay niya. In fairness sa kanya, ramdam na ramdam namin yung difference. Uh, and I guess I would relate my current situation to this uh, pumpkin brownie. It's a bit bittersweet because of the challenges that the pandemic brings, but it's still definitely considered dessert. So there's still a lot of fun and we still get to make the most out of the opportunities that we have. And at the same time, it's healthy and health is our number one priority. So hope that works out. <laughs> yeah, pumpkin, brownie, you got me intrigued there. Hindi ko pa ever, but yeah. Very, um, very good, I must say. Sige, I hope I can try that in the future. Um. Thank you for that answer. Second question. Can you tell us about, you know, the Press Play project in True ID app? Uh, the Press Play project, uh, well, actually, I was just a guest there. So I don't know uh, how much I can tell you about it. But yeah, I was a guest there. I think that Press Play is hosted by Richard Wan. I believe he might be one of the I producers do. as well. But 
Uh, I, unfortunately, I don't really have much to share about that. But okay. it was a fun guesting. Yeah, that's okay. Siguro follow up na lang specific uh, to the projects. Uh, do we have? Do we do we expect you in GMA shows soon? Uh, with the renewal of the contract. Yeah. Um. I I've been getting this question a lot today. Um, there have been a lot of internal discussions about different projects and opportunities na pwede sana namin gawin. It's just that yung landscape natin right now is ever-changing. All of a sudden, you have extra yes. rules, then lumuluwag yung rules. So parang naudlut siya. So I'm mm-hmm. not at liberty to say what these projects are, but they are a moving target kasi hindi natin alam where will we be next month. Three months from now, six months from now. So there will definitely be something. There is one with Megan. There's uh, there's a couple more without. So when the time is right, then I guess you guys will find out. Ayun, at least yung mga fans have something to look forward between, you know, for a project between you and Megan. But yun, thank you and congratulations, Mikael. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stay safe. Thank you. Thanks, Kuya MJ. Next naman to ask questions is Mr. Alan Sancoin. Hi, good afternoon. Yeah. Hi. Hello. There yeah. you are. Hi, Alan. Yeah. Congratulations. Signing in your contract with an- another with GMA. So, yung tanong ko, lagi ko tinatanong sa mga nag-reading nyo ng contract with GMA. Uh, ano yung ano? Ano yung naging reason why you renew your contract with GMA? Kumbaga, ano yung mga bagay na nagawa ng GMA for the past how many years that you're with, ano, with Kapuso? Ah, wow. Actually, madali lang sagutin yung tanong na yan. GMA is the foundation of my career. And I say that, it's a very short sentence, pero napaka, napaka bigat nung meaning at halaga ng statement na yun. Because they're the ones that took a chance on me. Sila yung ano eh, uh, uh, they're the ones who gambled on me and said, okay, maybe this person can be someone for us. Maybe this person can provide uh, value for us. So it's been 11 years and we're renewing a contract to be on board with GMA and be a kapusa for the next few years. So ang laking bagay niyan because it shows the trust and I guess it shows what we've been able to do for the past 11 years as well. Na I would like to assume that it was something good, productive, and of value. Yeah. So congratulations. Sa next second question is, kumbaga, ano naman, family wise naman, after career wise. Ano yung ano, ano pa? Siyempre, sa tagal-tagal niyong magkasama ni Megan, Megan, eh, eh ma, kumbaga marami rin kayo na-discover sa isa't isa. So after marriage, kumbaga ano pa yung mga na-discover mo that you want to share to your fans about Megan? Being a husband, being a partner, yeah. yeah, well, um, okay, so let's go to something na laging, uh, laging tinatanong sa akin and baka maudlot ko yung questions ng iba dito, but I think people are always asking about babies. When are we going to grow the family? Of course, we do have one baby at the moment. That's my dog called Soba. And anong tawag dito? The baby question is definitely something that we've been talking about and we've never really discussed this openly before the wedding. So this is definitely something new, not just for us, but for everyone else involved and following our journey. Uh, There's no baby plans at the moment. Of course, 2022 is a new year. So that discussion has yet to be had for next year. So we will find out. You will probably hear the results um, on our podcast or our vlogs. So maybe when we're ready to start the family, that's where the announcement will start. Yeah. How about discovery about uh, Megan being a wife, being a partner? Uh, discovery about Megan. Well, I guess something that I can share, although it's not much of a discovery, because I would always say na we lived very openly even before the wedding. So in wedding, very it was very much a formality. Mas marami nagbago dun para sa mga kapatid ko at sa nanay ko kaysa sa aming dalawa ni Megan after the wedding, because we were living life as if we were married already. So for everyone else, like uh, my mom has considers Megan her daughter now, etc. etc. <laughs> Mas malaki pa yung pagbabago para sa nila. In terms of discovery, I guess something, a tidbit that we can share is that we don't wear our wedding rings. And we never really had, and we had no intention. We tried for a couple of days, pero muntik na namin mawala, which was exactly what we expected and thought. So it was a discovery, but we kind of knew it. So na prove lang namin yung expectations namin. 
last on me eh, Michael, you want to share something uh, about your ano kumbaga dun sa mga sa pinirmahan mong contract ano yung mga upcoming projects that we will look forward to yes discuss the projects pero ang dami na namin na pag-usapan na pwedeng gawin it's just that yun nga yung certain current situation and yung climate with the changing rules parang nagbabago lagi siya lagi siyang moving target so when we're confident na maitatayo na talaga namin yung project i think that's when GMA will give us the go signal to finally announce but rest assured yeah. meron yan looking forward to that and congratulations all right thank you very much Thanks, Kuya Alan. Next naman si Mr. Albert Abelido. Hey, mabuhay! Cong- Hello, mabuhay, Albert. L. Ayan, yung first question ko is, um, reflecting on how you started your career, um, were you surprised with na, ah, magaling pala, ano yun, kaya ko palang umarte ng ganito and all. Pero, kasi you started as a model, di ba? Parang, how, how that kind of transition, um, uh, changed you in terms of kung ano yung mga capabilities mo as a person? Yeah. Uh, well, sa totoo lang, I don't think I've ever thought of myself na, wow, kaya ko to. Because when you're in the moment and you're improving and nadadapa ka, tapos you have to get up again, para usually it's a struggle because it's a lot of fear and anxiety na as you're trying to learn this new craft of acting and then you get into hosting and then you get into vlogging even. Uh, these are all skills that the first very first time you do it, obviously you're not very good at it. It's just that process siya and journey. So I guess when we look back 11 years later, which is now, in retrospect, uh, we've gotten to this point where, okay, they're giving me a new contract. They're entrusting me with this new contract where they want to keep working. We want to keep working together. And I guess that does say a lot about the 11 years, that over the 11 years, uh, we've improved and I've improved in my skills. But the contract also means that Over the next few years, I have to keep doing that. So it's constant improvement and constantly looking for challenges and motivations for us to do better. Yeah. So and which excites us as well as movie as and yung viewers. Kung ano pa yung ipapakita talaga ni ni Mikael and all. Ganet. Pero like now na parang you're married. Um. May ano ka ba? May mga limitations ka ba na sinet for yourself in terms of how how you wanted us how how you wanted to appear to us your audience? Ah, okay. Yeah, I get what you mean. I I think that um, coming off uh, the wedding, maraming nagtatanong, magkikising sing ka pa ba? Yung mga ganon. I think these are natural questions, especially in our country, and that's all right. Uh, but So far, no limitations. I mean, as an actor, you still take projects as an actor. And if that's part of the script, then it's part of the script. So I think the process of accepting and um, go- getting into projects still remains the same. So I think essentially, siguro when it comes to our work, nothing has really changed as much. Megan also, I would say, I can safely say, Uh, would feel the same way. We accept projects in terms of what kind of challenge does it pose and how does we, how do we grow as a person and as an actor. And I think that should always be at the forefront when making decisions about career and work. Thank you. Thank you, Mikael. Congrats. Thank you. Thanks for the questions. Thanks, Kuya Albert. Next.